equations. First one, we have log base 3 of the quantity 5 minus 2x is equal to 2. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out the logarithm base 3 by putting a 3 as a base of an exponential on both sides. This has the ability to cross out the logarithm and leave us with 5 minus 2x on the left. And on the right, we have 3 to the power of 2, 3 squared. And 3 to the power of 2, of course, is 9. And now we've turned it into something that is linear, which should be a lot easier to solve for us. So let's subtract 5 from both sides. Negative 2x equals 4. And then divide both sides by negative 2. And we end up getting that x is equal to negative 2. Now with logarithms, it's important that you do not put negative numbers into the argument. The domain of logarithm is only positives, has to be bigger than zero. But notice that if we were to replace the x here with negative 2, 5 minus 2 times negative 2 would become 9. So this is a legal answer. This answer is legal. Okay, next on the right here, ooh, this time we have the logarithm, but we also have this 3 tacked on at the beginning. So before I can use that cancellation law where the exponent undoes the logarithm, we need to first subtract 3 from both sides of the equation so that we get our logarithm isolated. Log base 5 of 2x plus 1 equals 5 minus 3, which is 2. Now we can use the exponential rule. So I'm going to raise both sides 5 to the power of each side. On the left, the 5 and the log base 5 will cancel, and we are left with 2x plus 1. On the right, we have a 5 squared, which is 25. So 2x plus 1 equals 25. Subtract 1. 2x equals 24. Divide by 2. And final answer is x equals 12. Again, a quick little check here. 2 times 12 is 24, plus 1 is 25, so the argument would be positive, and this is a legal answer. Okay, try one on your own then here. Try solving 2 minus 2 times log base 4 of x plus 3 equals negative 2. Assuming you paused and gave it a shot here, let's now do it together. Subtract 2 from both sides of the equation so that negative 2 log base 4 of x plus 3 is equal to negative 2 minus 2 more, which is negative 4. Now we got to get rid of that coefficient in front of the logarithm before we can raise to power, so I'm going to now divide both sides by negative 2. Divide by negative 2. It's going to cancel out those negative 2's, leaving me with a log base 4 of x plus 3, and negative 4 divided by negative 2 is 2. Now we can cancel out the logarithm. So 4 to the power on both sides. It's going to cancel out the logarithm, leaving us with x plus 3. And on the right-hand side, 4 to the power of 2 would be 16. And so we're now linear, and our last step is going to say that x looks like it's going to be equal to 13. Looks like x equals 13. Again, replacing x in here for 13 would give an argument to the logarithm of a 16, so that's a legal answer.